have a think about the absorption law. Now the absorption law is really useful and helpful but there are two points that you must remember. Now the absorption law unlike the others two the operators must be different. They must be different and the term outside must also be inside, must also be inside. So if you remember, if I draw this out, an example of the absorption law is this, A and bracket A or B. And the absorption law says that that is equal to A. It also says, if I use a different example, that would be equal to not B. Now the important thing here is the operators must be different. Look at this. Here I have an AND. Here I have an OR. Here I have an OR. Here I have an AND. They're not the same. The operator outside the bracket is an AND. The operator inside the bracket is an OR. In example 1. In example 2 the operator outside is a plus, which is an OR, and in inside the bracket it's an AND. So the first rule is met. The second rule says the term outside must also be inside. Here the term outside is A. So I need to look inside the brackets and see is there an A inside. There is. Here's an A. Therefore I can apply the absorption rule that says that is equal to A. Here I have the negative... Uh, the not B outside. I also have a not B inside, therefore can I, I can apply the absorption rule. This rule you just need to recognize. You need to learn it and recognize it. So in what you're looking for, in nearly every case, it will be a fairly simple um, example in the exam where you'll have, it will be clear, you will have something outside and something inside and the operators will be different. So you need to watch out for that. Now, what I'd like you to have a quick think about, I'm going to write some, just write some examples. And I want you to think about whether these five examples can have the absorption law applied to them. I'm sure you can probably do these as I'm doing them. Um, so, have a quick look at those, maybe pause the video, and come up with an answer for each. Yes or no, is it absorption? Pause it, come back in a second. Okay, hopefully you've had a think about this. The first one. Well, let's go back up and look at those law, those rules. The operators must be different and the term outside must also be inside. So, let's have a look. The operators must be different. That's an OR and that's an AND. Rule 1, fine. The second part is the operator, the term outside must also be inside. That one and that one, so that's fine. So that is an example of the um, absorption rule, absorption law. Might not be the best example because there's an identity there. But anyway, quicker than doing that. Here, are the operators different? That's a plus, and that's a, uh, uh, that's an or, and that's an and. Fine. Is the term that's outside not C also inside? No, it's not. There's not C outside, but it's C inside. So that is not an example of the absorption law. The next one, B is outside, B is inside, the operators are different. Again, we've actually got an identity, but it's still an example of the absorption law. The next one, the operators are not different, they're the same. This is a plus, this is a plus. That's not an example of the absorption law. And finally, not C outside, not C inside, and the two 
operators are different. So that is an example. Hopefully, I hope, you got that without too much trouble. Right, the, fi um, the final law is the distributive law. Now, the absorption I'm going to come back to at the end, and I'm going to show you a proof after we've done the distributive law, just to, as a, a quite nice example of the distributive law.